Hi, it's Sean Lodge uh, of the Moody Blues here. Uh, it's 55 years since the uh, re recorded and the release of Days of Future Past. And it was a really incredible time. We went into the studio for a week, and a week later, we'd made an album that changed my life, uh, the Moody Blues life, and I hope uh, millions of people around the world's life. The album came about because Decca Records wanted to make an album to uh, support their new sound system, uh, DSS or full frequency sound which really was a precursor, I think, uh, to stereo. And they approached us and wanted to make an album with an orchestra and what they call a pop band. And uh, it was to do uh, Dvorak's New World Symphony. And, uh, well, we said yes, <laughs> providing we could go into the studio and have a lockdown, a lockout, all the while, 24 hours a day. In those days in the studio, there was uh, three studio sessions a day booked, uh, probably 10 till 2, 2 till 6, and 6 till 10. And we said to uh, the record company, we want to go in 24 hours a day. And they said yes, and that's what we did. We then. 24 hours a day, uh, recorded to four or five o'clock in the morning. And uh, which was a new experience for all of us. And it opened up a lot of new creative uh, horizons uh, for us individually and as a band. And uh, we recorded the album at the Decca Studios in West Hampstead, and uh, the chairman of the company, Sir Edward Lewis, became a great mentor for us. Uh, he called us his boys. And um, on the playback of the album, Tony Clark, our producer, and Derek Varnels, our engineer, set up the playback in the studio, not even in the control room, actually in the studio and uh, we invited a few friends there a few people of the record company and uh, the moment uh, the playback came we all entered the studio dimmed the lights to black and played the album and when the album was finished there was really silence because I know for myself, I was <laughs> astounded. I couldn't believe what we recorded and uh, the difference the album was to anything I'd ever heard before. And I think that was feeling through everybody listening to the whole band. And we said, let's play this album again. And pl we played the album again and we heard it the next time, everybody got up and applauded. And uh, that was the beginning, the days of future past journey.